morning, Bohai. Today is Wednesday, May 11th. I'm Holly. And I'm Andrew. Please join us for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for some announcements. Come to the Coffee House Friday night for tea night, 7 p.m. at the McAuliffe Shepherds Discovery Center. Students that attended Whitewater Rafting Intercession should go see Cliff to get a copy of the TRIP DVD. Today is the last day to buy prom tickets from Mrs. Bean's office. Will Josh Wayne and Travis Reynolds please come to the office? And in news today, the Transportation Security Association in New Orleans, at a New Orleans airport has recently been receiving flack after news came out that a security guard patted down and searched a six-year-old girl trying to go through security. Uh, when she walked through a metal detector. In response to this uproar, the TSA agent said that he searched the child because uh, her stroller alarmed during the explosive screenings. However, when asked, the Transportation S Secretary, Ray LaHoyd, said that human error was certainly a factor in this and that he wouldn't have wanted to see his granddaughter in the same situation. Touching story. Now let's go to Darian. In other prom news, a Connecticut boy was barred from prom after a creative proposal. The boy, James Tate, and two friends posted 12-inch tall letters in front of the school's main entrance, which read, Sonali Rodriguez, will you go to prom with me? HMU. Tate. HMU means hit me up or call. James Tate and his two friends were all suspended from school for a day and are banned from prom. His date said yes, but I'm not quite sure how she plans to attend with someone who can't go. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Darian. Tuesday, Yves Rossi, a Swiss adventurist, flew over the Grand Canyon in his custom-built jet suit. He flew for eight minutes, 200 feet over the rim. While the suit averages 120 miles per hour, Rossi reached 190. The suit has six and a half foot wingspan and four engines. Needless to say, tourists got their money's worth that day when they saw a man fly. I want one of those. <laughs> now let's go to Jake with the tidbit. In other prom news, a Connecticut boy was barred from prom after. In other. In other. In other prom news. All right, we'll be right back to Jake. Um, we had te technical difficulties. Anyway, um, that's it for today. I'm uh, Holly. And I'm Andrew. Good, Good morning, Bell High. I'm Jake Evans. Today, tri today's Jake. trivia question is. Uh, when was Walt Disney's Cinderella released? Again, that is, when was Walt Disney's Cinderella released? Your answers are A, 1971, B, 1950, C, 1960, or D, 1964. Those are, again, 1971, 1950, 1960, or 1964. Please submit your answers at the box office. Uh, the prize is a free ticket to Cinderella. Um, Monday's winners were... John Gibbons, and Tuesday's winner was uh, Amy Zahinsky. Now back to the desk. Thanks a lot, Jake. Uh, that's it for today, Bohai. I'm Andrew. I'm Holly. And Osama Bin Laden is dead. Thank you. Have a good day.